At the moment, the weather's looking terrific. Into play again. Knocked down. It's going to be Swallow trying to scoop it up. That was unsuccessful. The country with a chance. Dustin Martin's going to get a crack again. He was wrapped up in the tackle. He was able to get it away to Cunnington. And then ripping away with it here is Swallow. Recruiters that won't have seen this kid. Well, sorry, the recruiters will have seen him, but there'll be a few coaches and the like that won't have seen him. They'll get pretty excited with him today, I reckon. Cunnington to half forward. He's rowing again. He was outmarked that time. A hand at the moment. And... WA just trying to press forward, but Vic Country have been terrific in defence. It's on the wing, ball still in dispute. Rowan. Once again, really good start from Vic Country. Back in the middle we go again. Hutchins trying to work his way through here for WA, and the umpire will put it down again. Looks like Vardy's doing a lot of the uh, centre square work and then pushing forward as an extra tall with uh, Butcher and Asprey, so they're really trying to load up down forward uh, Vic Country. So some good quality on display. Cunnington got the hand pass out for Vic Country. Interesting kick from Collier. Up to the wing, Cunnington again. He just hurries it onto the boot. And it's inside the 50 with a nice mark. It's been cupped now for WA. Able to free the hands. He gets it out. And a good spoil. Collier had his kick spoiled wonderfully. It was Cunningham who did that. And we're going to have a ball in. And that's a feature of Ben Cunnington's football. He is uh, absolutely ferocious, the contest and the man uh, with the play. Reminds me a little bit about his attack on the contest of a steel side bottom. About that, Speed. takes a bounce, he just darted away from them. He goes for goal. Vardy might be able to take this. No good spoil in the goal square. It might be rushed through for a point. No, still alive. Oh, Cunnington around the body for a goal. Well, well, well. Gary Rowan. That, that turn of speed has just been a massive tick has been put next to every recruiting officer's little book. The break net. Cunnington's got it. He's wrapped up. Got a hand pass away, the umpire said. Cunnington had just kicked that goal. His hand pass was charged down, but he was able to get it back. The hand pass back. Kobe Stevens just leaves it. Estenek got the hand pass away. Then up towards half forward. Cunnington. Couldn't take it with a second bite. He goes again at ground level. He was tackled by Luff. Luff's still going. The umpire lets it go. Then a ball up. That's indicative of the play so far. Cunnington then one against four, one against five. His just determination to leap over the pack and just make a contest and lock the footy in. Absolutely outstanding. He'll be licking his lips. We'll have him at half time for a bit of a chat about some of these boys. Big day for him just to have a bit of a look. And he's got a long time to look at all the talent until that 2010 draft. Dustin Martin with the football now for Vic Country. Did well to work his way through the maze. He gets it back, Martin. And then he kicks the half forward. No mark. Ball hits the deck. Shepard first to it for WA. Hand pass back. Donaldson gets it onto his boot. He rushed it, really. That was the only option. The country, well, they've got numbers again. Cunnington traps it Cunnington. beautifully. Hand pass to Christensen, back to Cunningham, who just keeps on going. He's 70 out, he brings it inside the 50, the kick not great. Out comes Carr, gathering, Stevens at goal, and missing. At left half back. Inboard again. He's playing well, Cunnington, it's his 11th touch. Comes across to Rowan. And he might get a free there for... And that's what can happen. Fantastic clearance and goal. So last three goals to the WA. The country, Stevens was tackled. They're under all sorts of pressure now. Cunnington got his hand pass forward. Rowan. And we know how explosive he is off the mark. He takes... Been busy swallow. Up to 12 touches. Mitch Duncan with the footy now for the WA. Runs his full measure. He was able to get past Cunnington. Then go again, take a bounce. And go inside the 50. Hooper couldn't take it. Darling, hand pass Garland. I think, I think you were, the right word you, you used then was presence. He's got a presence about him. And a lot of junior players don't have that. They've got skinny bodies and they take a while to develop that. They, they say Jonathan Brown and this under 18. contact do you have with boys at this level? Obviously, they need a, a manager when they get into AFL. If they're lucky enough to be drafted into AFL, how much uh, contact do you have with them? Uh, yeah, fair bit. Look, I mean, 
I'm probably a little bit different to, to a number of the other managers. I tend not to drive them mad, I have to admit. But, uh, so what is it like, well, Jerry Maguire style, show me the money? Or no, 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 no. <laughs> but I, seriously, during the, uh, the carnival, I think they've got enough on their plate without getting terrorised by managers. But uh, in fact, there's a rule that says during the carnival games and leading up to them, you, you're not supposed to be contacting the players. So you tend to let them go. But you do make contact with the young players as early as six months 12 months before some go earlier um, you can't sign a kid until he's eligible to be drafted as a, as a contracted player so um, there's a lot of good managers out there and you're right once they play afl footy they need some management advice so everyone part of the game really cannington's got the footy here for big country that player's getting an opportunity to play a little bit of senior football and we look at daniel rich from last year He's a, uh, a dual premiership player at Subiaco, and it's no coincidence he steps into AFL with a stronger body and uh, performs as well as he has. And uh, he won 93, but he you know, locked his hands at the centre bounce and just gave an armchair right to his midfielder. Cannington. Oh, he the, the wrong pass way. away. He's going to get it back, though, Cannington. He's outside the 50, going to full four. Dustin Martin bounced off his chest. Ball hits the pocket. In the Geelong area. Been happening for a while down there with Michael Turner and I think Gary Hocking at the helm at the moment as coach. Yeah, doing a good job, Buddha. And Mick put together some amazing draft players. They picked their best ever self. Middle, Neats. Bit, getting a bit head pass out. Duncan. It's getting a bit easy in there. It is Duncan. The afterburner's on. He was nearly dragged down. Cunnington was the man who applied the pressure. Duncan could have laid a high tackle there. He did. He got a free kick. I think he made a mistake bouncing it then, Duncan. <laughs> It's very rarely you can get away with bouncing the ball on a player's a metre from you. Young player. Here's Gary. Really well off the pack. There's been a whistle, though. Something off the football, way off the football. is going to come all the way. Category as well. Does he? Where to mark that name? He's got a full uh, notepad. Scott Clayton from today. Not the only one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm tipping unless his kid's playing. <laughs> He's going to be doing some celebrating today. I'm not sure he'll be listening to us three. I have to admit, or watching the under 80s, but you never know, he might be a footy fan. Here's uh, Vic Country trying to bring it out of defence. They're under the pump big time. And it's going to be Cunnington to get on the end of the hand pass. And kick it to the middle. Oh, that's a hit note. He won. And the other thing with that is, <laughs> we know, we've already seen, we've talked about it, we spoke to Scotty Clayton at half time. We know where the early picks are going next year. They're going to the Gold Coast. And we know that the West Sydney are coming in, and they're going to get them as well. So this might be your last chance to get these gun big blokes because I would say if there's a chance that a key position player is in an early pick in the 2010 National Draft, along with the likes of Swallow and these type of players, that the Gold Coast with picks 1, 2, 3, 5, 7 will be grabbing them. Recruiters are going to really earn their money this draft because it's not much uh, room for error given the fact that, as Pick has said, we've got the Gold Coast, then Western Sydney the following following year yeah and we had alan mcconnell on uh, earlier in the program today and the reports i'm getting from what i've seen especially out of vic metro and vic country at under 16 level and butcher cramping might have a cramp it's late in the game he's going to go back and line it up from 30 meters well to come through this tournament under third it's a fantastic effort by this western australian team butcher could be the last kick of the game he's got a couple of goals this afternoon so far and he misses that one. Well, there it is. Western Australian boys celebrate. They've won the Division One title and they're celebrating hard too. Undefeated, talent all over the park. Vic Country was terrific early, Jace, but